people from BJP and RSS were speaking the language of Godse and Savarkar and divided India on communal lines and the result is on every nook and corner Muslims are being attacked and murdered brutally. So, so because what? of so that, what? as a last resort, thing? the you time has come to get united and the fight same against thing? these forces who you want, want to wipe Muslims thing, even? A disparate times demands disparate measures. The Muslims' life and modesty is in grave danger now. The Modi regime completely failed to implement law and order in the nation. Because of that, this is the disparate time. And the disparate measure is Muslims should get united and fight electorally and have a force to recover. Yes. Modi government cannot be trusted anymore. Mob lynchings are taking place in our nation. Gaurakshaks are killing innocent. In all these circumstances, Can Modi I? government is not trustworthy anymore. For protecting the modesty, life and wealth of every innocent Indian, Cut there should be hands. strict punishment. And uh, Saudi is protecting its citizen due you to see? the punishment of Islam. You see, we are unable to protect. protect. I want to why do you remind disagree? you of Ikhlas. No, why do you Pahidukar. disagree? I why want you to disagree? remind you of hundreds of Muslims and thousands of Muslims lagging in jails. I want to remind you fake encounters. Zafar, don't forget that. You are close to Mr. Modi. Doesn't mean that you just don't see the truth. Remember the truth? Muslims, thousands of Muslims are in jails, innocent Muslims. They are being encountered like Madhya Pradesh encounter. So don't forget that. In India, the life, security and modesty of Muslims is at risk since 2014. Zafar no security Sarishwala. on that. I want to convey one report of Times of India which says that in post-independent India, independence India, 94% people who were sent to gallows by the court were either Dalits or Muslims. And the Brahmins were given life sentences. Second point, Times of India quoted it at the time of Yahoo Maman hanging. Second point, I want to say that eh, the people who demolished Babri Masjid, the criminals are roaming free. Though in, who incited riots in uh, post Babri Masjid demolition in Gujarat, in Muzaffar Nagar, and many other places are roaming free and enjoying the bread and butter at the government's expense. Imagine the plight of our nation. One dreaded criminal is the chief minister of our biggest state of the country.